Assalamu alaikum students. How are you? Well, I am fine. Thank you. And we continue talking about uh, what we have been talking last time, and that was uh, industrialization of mass media. In fact, we were talking about print media. For the last uh, 400 years from uh, the beginning of the 17th century till the invention of uh, radio, it was the print media known as mass media. Masses were being contacted and addressed through print media. And it was the print media responsible for highlighting the passion of masses, the feeling of masses, and the scholars, and every person in the society who wanted to air one's feelings pertaining to any sphere of life, the print media was available. It did make a rapid progress. But the progress of print media was not only because of the, the press people, the journalists, the editors, and all those who were working, the article writers, the editorial writers. It was not only because of uh, these people. There were certain factors which also contributed towards the enormous growth of print media. And uh, given the boost to the mass communication. The factors, among those factors was the contribution of scientists. We should never ignore with the students of mass communication, I mean, we must regard all those scientists and technicians and the rest of the people who contributed directly or indirectly in the promotion of this mass media. Earlier we were talking about uh, certain inventions like uh, the telegraph, oh, a great breakthrough. Before the telegraph, you know, the sphere of a uh, newspaper, the coverage of events was very limited because you didn't have the penetration, you, you didn't have the space to cover, you didn't have the means to cover the space. So, the people who were working with the media, their activity was limited to a certain distance. They will go out and uh, bring some reports about uh, what's happening in the society, but not from a distance. But the societies were growing in their activities, in their cultures, and from all the respects attached to the human life. But media was perhaps not growing with the same pace for uh, almost uh, 150 years from the invention of this great uh, printing process, printing technology, in the middle of uh, the 15th century. When came this telegraph, it created quite a ripple in the life of uh, media people and the media industry. Now you were able to get information from distant areas. Now you were able to have reports from uh, other countries. And in a matter of a uh, few years, from across the Atlantic, from across the continents, what a day it would have been when first news item would have come from across the Atlantic and appeared in the newspaper the same day, something happening in a far off place and a report of that event appearing the next day or the maximum next to next day. In those days, it was a very fast communication, obviously. And then came another breakthrough that was uh, the availability of telephone. It came a little later, last quarter of the 19th century. But still, for the media people to have a report on, through voice and from a distance, obviously, was something too great. Now, your reporters didn't uh, have to bother 
for uh, finding a place from where they can uh, send a telegraph and file their reports. Just pick up a telephone and tell what's happening in front of my eyes, or for instance. It's quite quick communication. And the media continued to enjoy these inventions thanks to these scientists. But in 1935, as we were talking, another invention that brought uh, cheers in the media once again, it was the invention of telex. It was teletyping. In fact, uh, if, the, if the telephone is not available somewhere and uh, the telegraph facility was not available, you can have this telex. You just type out your story, you are a piece of information. And on the other end, which is generally, which was generally a newspaper's office, in the case of media, you are finding the same report pouring out uh, there. And the editors sitting in the newsroom are having very fresh copies of events taking place in a part of the world. The news items were pouring from all around, from your own correspondents, from uh, different cities, local correspondents, and uh, from every part of the country, and from different parts of the continent. In the meantime, there were quite a few news agencies, and they were sending news items in bulk. It was very difficult to handle the amount of information or the news you're getting in a newsroom. And for the media people, it was quite a task to sort out the news item you were getting a day. What a change it was in a matter of uh, 250 years or 300 years. It was really a time for media to rejoice. But in the meantime, there was radio as a competitor. But we continue with the print media. And not only with the telex, it didn't, the story didn't end with the appearance of telex. In later part of the last century, that is the 20th century, we had an amazing invention, an amazing machine, I tell you. The people who enjoyed, who had seen these areas of telephone and telex in the newsrooms of print media, they were amazed to have this machine called facts. Oh, what a convenience. You just type out your story and put it in the machine and on the other side you are having a copy, just like a photostate copy of or from any anywhere. It was just like that. Now you were able to send the graphics as well. If you have a pic pictures, you can also send the pictures. And uh, for the news editors and uh, for the newsroom, I tell you, it was a blessing also in the sense that the telex machine was creating a sound of typing all the time. It was difficult to brave those sounds created by the telex machine, but you have to. In fact, it was so silently done. And I was telling you the other day, Newsroom then started appearing as if uh, some of the newsrooms, I tell you, otherwise they're very noisy places. The editor's room became like, uh, like a clinic, as silent, no voice. But a newspaper in general, I tell you, is a, is a, is a quite hardly burly place. You find quite a few voices over there. But what we were talking last time, was actually the industrialization of print media. Well, all these inventions like telegraph and telephone and telex and fax and later on, obviously the internet, the computer technology, this digital technology has also created a medical and it's still doing it. And we are still in the phase where this digital technology is the latest available to media. And media is fully exploiting it because it's fast, quick, clear, as invented for media. And when we were talking about industrialization media, we also talk about what changes the media had seen over time in its uh, printing technology. 
the, me the print media is not uh, in fact uh, confined to the printing process, handed over to it, occupant to it in the middle of the 15th century. No. Well, that continued for some time, for almost uh, 150 years. Newspapers continued to be printed on the printing process available in the middle of the 15th century, thanks to the invention by the Gothenburg in Germany. But then that was the printing process available then all around, in all the European states, in America, in China, and uh, all other parts where the printing industry was uh, having its setup. But then came, as uh, we mentioned last time, a new technology, a new technique, I should say, in printing. It was lithography. Litho, in Latin, it means stone, but it doesn't mean that. we, in fact, reverted to stone printing. It referred to lime, limestone because limestone was used in this uh, type of printing process. It, the name of lithography was given. Media continued to benefit from this technology. Here you were using a mix of an oil and water, and water would not stick on the plate, and uh, the oil would create an impression when exposed to the sun or the light, and that would have an impression, and from that impression you can reprint things. That was the main outlook of the technology. Then came offset printing. Well, in offset printing, we were using now the rollers and the rubbers to get, to get those impressions on a more sensitized plate. Here, we were able to use more fonts because of the technology. We were able to have a brighter image. We were able to have uh, as thin a line with its clear sharpness as a human eye can see. You can have a hair-like, hair-like line, but very sharp. It was possible only with the offset printing, a high-quality printing. When it was introduced in the, again in the, in the later part of uh, the 19th century, the media continued to have it till the later part of the Last century, media enjoyed this offset printing for almost a hundred years. And still, quite a part of media, I tell you students, is enjoying the offset printing. Lekin uske baad kya hua? Technology ka koi maamla rukta to hai nahi. Jaise ke zindagi ka dhara chalta rehta hai, isi tira, ek ke baad ek invention hoti rehti. जब ऑफसेट प्रिंटिंग का एक रूच आ गया तो जाहिर है उसके बाद कोई ना कोई और निजाम भी आना था ऑफसेट प्रिंटिंग में अखबार की हद तक तो यह था कि जब आपने अखबार का पेज बनाना है सारी दुनिया में हजारों लाखों लोग इसमें इन्वॉल्व होते थे क्योंकि मैस मीडिया के अब जो स्कोप था वो बहुत बढ़ चुका था बाय द लास्ट सेंचुरी और इतना ज्यादा इसका काम अवेलेबल था कि न्यूज़ रूम्स के अंदर और अखबारों के दफ्तरों के अंदर जिसका हम प्रिंट मीडिया में जिक्र करते हैं खास कमरे बनाए जाते थे लॉन्ग रूम्स वुड हैव बीन सेट अप इन द न्यूज़पेपर ऑफिसेस वेयर अ पेस्टिंग एंड कटिंग ऑफ ऑल दैट मटेरियल ऑफ टेक्स्ट एंड ग्राफिक्स एंड पिक्चर्स एंड इमेजेस दे वर प्रोवाइडेड टू द पीपल हु वुड जस्ट मेक अ प्लेट वी जस्ट पुट इट ऑन अ राइस पेपर on a butter paper, just to get a plate for putting it in the offset printing process. Well, that continued, and still it is continuing somewhere. But you needed uh, more space. And with more space, that means more consumption of uh, people, material, space, and all the rest of it. When came another technology, all it has changed. I mean, the outlook of newspapers uh, well, again changed. When came this latest we call desktop technology, desktop publishing, DTP. Well, what is it? Here, this digital technology is enabling you to 
to have all that layout of a paper on a computer. Now again, from a very noisy place where all these copies were made uh, to be printed through this op op offset printing all over the world, from that uh, noisy a place, noisy rooms, it has shifted to a very serene, very quiet, very decent sort of uh, small rooms, I would say, small uh, cabins, I would say, where you would find, if you, if you visit a newspaper office these days, a big newspaper office, you would find these small cabins and people sitting over there on a computer and putting all the uh, text and images and graphics and charts, whatever is to be to be appearing next day in, a, in, the, in the media, in the paper, they are transferring all that data on to columns or whatever the area they have marked so conveniently. You just need few commands and all that data is then flowing there. And this desktop programs, we named few programs and I think you do remember some of the programs. Uh, they are the softwares. They enable you to have this facility of desktop publishing. It's not uh, the newspapers only. If you feel like you can have uh, a book published, published in the sense that you can arrange all the matter of a uh, book in, in the book form in the computer. If it is a 500 page book and you are printing it from both sides of the paper, obviously, you can do it. You just number the page and you just have a design for the page. If it is a single column or if it is a two column, because books have their own arrangements or if there is a box item or if there is a picture, whatever, you can put it through these softwares, through this digital technology, through this desktop publishing facility, which perhaps is the latest available to the print media in this process of industrialization of media. We are talking about uh, the industrialization of mass media. And we are seeing what changes have been brought about in the past, uh, say, 350 years or 400 years, ever since uh, we had this uh, printing technology and press media. And this desktop technology, students, is in fact taking the media by storm. Now you go in any area of uh, press media, it's not the newspapers alone, you go to the, to the magazine offices and you would find that all the magazines are now being done on uh, this desktop publishing facility. That has created such a convenience for this press media that this process of industrialization sometime it is so amazing hum log jo baat karte hain mass media ki ke 3 400 saal mein jab ye shuru hua hoga industrialization ka process to kisi ne us waqt socha bhi nahi hoga ke wahan se jab ek haath se mechanically us waqt to bijli bhi nahi thi jab ye invention hui thi printing process ki usko ek haath ke process se ek manually usko insaan jo the us machine ko chalate the aur ek page chap gaya fir dusra page rakha fir chap उस वक्त से लेके और अब इस डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी के आने तक एक सफर तो तय हुआ है प्रिंट मीडिया का कोई तीन चार सौ साल का चार सौ साल का तय हो गया है लेकिन आप ये देखिए कि टेक्नोलॉजी की वजह से जो एक्चुअली हम बात कर रहे थे जो हमारा मौजूद था कि टेक्नोलॉजी के हवाले से मैस मीडिया की जो ग्रोथ है जो प्रमोशन है वो उसके साथ किस तरीके से मुंसलिक है जैसा हमने शुरू में कहा सिर्फ ये सोचना और ये कहना कि जिन लोगों ने इंटेलेक्चुअली इसमें एज ए एज ए मीडिया पर्सन पार्टिसिपेट किया सिर्फ उन्हीं की वजह से ये मैस कम्युनिकेशन का ये एरिया बिफोर द अराइवल ऑफ रेडियो ये जो प्रिंट के हवाले से था ये सिर्फ उन्हीं के मरहूने में न था ऐसा नहीं हो सका उसमें और भी बहुत सारे लोगों की कंट्रीब्यूशन है जैसे हमने आपसे कहा कि कम्युनिकेशन को फास्टर करने में जैसे टेलीग्राफ का टेली प्रिंटर का और फिर टेलिक्स का और फिर अब मॉडर्म का और फैक्स का और इन सारी चीजों का जैसा रोल है इसी तरह जो 
پبلشنگ کا ایریا ہے جو پرنٹنگ کا ایریا ہے اس میں بھی اصل انڈسٹریلائزیشن کا ایریا وہاں سے بہت تقویت ملی پریس میڈیا کو اس سمپلسٹک پرنٹنگ ٹیکنالوجی سے ڈیولپ ہو کے اس کو بہت ٹائم لگا کوئی ڈیڑھ سو سال لگے جب آپ لتھو پہ آئے پھر اس کے بعد آف سیٹ پرنٹنگ پہ آئے کیونکہ پرنٹنگ پروسیس کوئی بہت آسان سلسلہ نہیں ہے آف سیٹ سے آپ لوگ آپ ڈیسک ٹاپ پہ آ گئے ہیں اب اس وقت حالت یہ ہے کہ اگر آپ چاہیں کہ ایک گھنٹے میں ایک ہزار سے زیادہ ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے کہ آپ کے اخبار کا والیوم کتنا ہے اس کا سائز کتنا ہے اگر آپ چاہیں ایک گھنٹے میں ایک ہزار سے بھی زیادہ کاپیز جو ہیں وہ حاصل کر سکیں دس از کوائٹ پاسبل سینگ از بلیونگ اگر آپ کو کبھی اتفاق ہو کسی اخبار کے دفتر کو وزٹ کرنے کا تو یو کین سی اگر آپ اس کے پریس والے ایریا میں جائیں تو یو وڈ فائن اسٹوڈینٹس کہ کتنی برق رفتاری سے اخبار جو ہیں وہ نکلتے آ رہے ہیں اور اسی تیز رفتاری سے ان کی فولڈنگ بھی ہوتی جا رہی ہے سارا میکنائزڈ ہو گیا ہے سارا اخبار کی پبلشنگ کا جو معاملہ اتنا ہائیلی میکنائزڈ ہو گیا ہے ہمیں اس میں صرف یہ دیکھنا ہے کہ کن کن لوگوں کی اس میں کنٹریبیوشن ہے آخر کو ایک اتنا بڑا ایریا جس کو ہم میس کمیونیکیشن کہتے ہیں جس کو ہم پرنٹ میڈیا کے حوالے سے زیادہ جانتے ہیں اور جو چار سو سال تک میچورٹی کی طرف آتا رہا اور اس وقت کوئی انسان ایسا نہیں پوری دنیا میں جو پرنٹ میڈیا سے لطف اندوز نہ ہوتا ہو اس سے بینیفٹ نہیں حاصل کرتا ہو اس کا کوئی تصور نہیں اور آپ اس کو کمپیئر کر سکتے ہیں فار وائل کہ جب یہ پرنٹنگ پروسیس اویلیبل نہیں تھا کتابیں تو تھیں ہاتھ سے لکھی ہوئی لیکن کتنے لوگوں کی دسترس میں وہ کتابیں تھیں ہاؤ مین پیپل کو ٹویل دوز بکس اور جس طرح سے کہا کہ مغرب میں جیسے چرچ کا کنٹرول تھا اور وہ کتابیں جو تھیں بڑی ریسٹرکٹڈ رہتی تھیں عمرہ ان کتابوں سے فیض حاصل کر سکتے تھے ان دا سینس کہ مہنگی بھی بہت تھی ریئر بھی بہت تھی اتنی کم کم تھی کہ سب لوگوں کو اویلیبل بھی نہیں تھی تو لکھی ہوئی چیز پڑھنے کا موقع ہر انسان کو نہیں ملتا تھا لیکن انسان کی اس تہذیب کے ارتقاء میں صرف تین چار سو سال میں آپ دیکھیے کہ بات یہاں تک آ گئی ہے کہ پورے پلانٹ پہ شاید آپ کو تحقیق کرنی پڑے گی یہ جاننے کے لیے کہ وہ کون سا پاکٹ ہے پورے پلانٹ پہ جہاں پہ ابھی تک میس کمیونیکیشن کے اثرات نہیں آئے یا وہاں کے لوگ جو ہیں ابھی تک وہ پرنٹ میڈیا کے بارے میں نہیں جانتے پورے پلانٹ پہ پرنٹ میڈیا جو ہے اس کی ایک لحاظ سے حکمرانی ہو گئی ہے حکمرانی جو ہوگی اس کی پہنچ ہو گئی ہے جب ہم یہ بات کرتے ہیں انڈسٹریلائزیشن کی اور کنٹریبیوشن کی بہت سارے لوگوں کی تو اسٹوڈنٹ ایک سوال بہت اہم پیدا ہوتا ہے اور ہمارا آج کا موضوع بھی اسے اسی سے متعلق ہے کہ پرنٹ میڈیا کے سوسائٹی پہ اثرات کیا تھے کس طرح سے اس کے اثرات جو ہیں وہ آئے وٹ افیکٹ دس پرنٹ میڈیا ہیز براٹ آن سوسائٹی صرف یہی تو نہیں کہ اخبار چھپ گیا لوگوں نے پڑھ لیا ایک بزنس ہو گیا کچھ ہزار لوگوں کو کچھ لاکھ لوگوں کو جاب مل گئی اور اس حوالے سے بس ایک جیسے اور بہت ساری صنعتیں ہوتی ہیں ایک صنعت یہ بھی ہو گئی کچھ ایسا ہے یا اس سے کچھ فرق ہے آئیے اس کو ہم دیکھتے ہیں کہ پرنٹ میڈیا کے سوسائٹی پہ کیا اثرات نمودار ہوئے سب سے پہلا جو چیز ہم نوٹس کرتے ہیں پرنٹ میڈیا کے آنے کے بعد ذہن میں رکھیے کہ جب پرنٹ میڈیا جو تھا وہ پندرہویں صدی کی اس میں جب پرنٹنگ کی ٹیکنالوجی آئی تو اس وقت سے اس کا ہم تقریباً وہاں سے دیکھنا شروع کرتے ہیں اس کو ورنہ میس میڈیا کا جیسے ہم نے کہا کہ کتاب کے حوالے سے تو وجود پہلے بھی تھا مگر اس کی پینیٹریشن اتنی زیادہ نہیں تھی اٹ وڈ ناٹ ہیو اے گریٹر اسکوپ اینڈ پینیٹریٹ ان ٹو دا میسز ایز اٹ اسٹارٹ ایڈ ہیونگ آفٹر دس پرنٹنگ ٹیکنالوجی واز اویلیبل تو ہم وہیں سے اپنے جو اس اس چیز کا آغاز کرتے ہیں کہ کیا اثر آتا ہے سب سے پہلا فرق جو دیکھنے میں آیا وہ تھا اسٹوڈنٹ اسٹینڈرڈ لینگویج پرنٹ میڈیا کے آنے سے سب سے بڑا فائدہ یہ ہوا کہ اس سے پہلے جو زبان کا معاملہ تھا وہ جیسے یہ کہا جاتا تھا اور ابھی بھی محاورے میں تو کہا جاتا ہے کہ دس کو اس کے بعد جا کے زبان بدل جاتی ہے اس کے اس کے لفظوں کے میننگ بدل جاتی ہیں شاید کسی حد تک ابھی بھی یہ سلسلہ ہوتا ہو لیکن پرنٹ میڈیا کے آنے سے یہ ہوا کہ چونکہ لوگ ایک اخبار میں ایک چیز کو پڑھ کے سمجھتے تھے اور اخبار میں لکھنے والے بھی اسی زبان میں لکھتے تھے جو سمجھی جا سکے تو 
ود دس ایکسرسائز اوور اے پیریڈ جو زبان تھا اس کی اس کا ایک اسٹینڈرڈ بن گیا کہ ان لفظوں کے یہ معنی ہوں گے اور لوگوں نے اسی محاورے میں ساری دنیا میں چاہے انگریزی میں تھا یا فرانس میں تھا اٹالین میں تھا اور جب ہمارے یہاں آیا بر صغیر میں تو بنگالی میں تھا یا اردو میں تھا یا ہندی میں یا تامل میں گجراتی میں ان کسی بھی زبان میں جب وہ آئے تو میڈیا نے ایک زبان کو ایک اسٹینڈرڈ زبان کی فارم میں لے آئے آج بھی ہم یہ بات دیکھ سکتے ہیں کہ یہ زبان سلینگ ہے اور یہ ایک اسٹینڈرڈ زبان ہے آج بھی اگر آپ اخبارات دیکھیں تو آپ کو اندازہ ہوتا ہے کہ اس میں ایک اسٹینڈرڈ زبان جو ہے وہ استعمال کی جاتی ہے کتابوں میں میگزینس میں ایک اسٹینڈرڈ زبان استعمال کی جاتی ہے اور زبان سیکھنے کے لیے اکثر ہم بچوں سے کہتے ہیں بالکل پرائمری کلاس کے بچوں کو کہ آپ یہ انگریزی کا اخبار پڑھیں یا آپ اردو کا اخبار پڑھیں یہ والا ڈائجسٹ بہت اچھا ہے آپ اس ڈائجسٹ کو پڑھیں اس میگزین کو پڑھیں تاکہ آپ کی جو زبان ہے وہ ایک اسٹینڈرڈ زبان کی شکل میں آ سکے جس سے ہر انسان کی جو کمیونیکیشن اسکل ہے اس پہ فرق پڑتا ہے اگر آپ کے ذہن میں ایک معنی ہے اور آپ اس کو بیان نہیں کر پا رہے اس کے لیے آپ کے پاس اسٹینڈرڈ ورڈس نہیں ہیں سلینگ ورڈس ہیں تو آپ ہمیشہ جھجکتے رہیں گے اس کا اظہار کرنے میں لیکن اگر آپ کو اسٹینڈرڈ لفظ اویلیبل ہے اور اسٹینڈرڈ لفظ کہاں سے آپ کو ملیں گے جب آپ پرنٹ میڈیا کے حوالے سے اس کو دیکھیں گے ان کتابوں کو ان رسائل کو ان اخبارات کو تو اخبارات نے یہ بہت کنٹریبیوٹ کیا زبان ساری زبانوں میں انگریزی میں بھی انہوں نے بالکل اس کو ایک اسٹینڈرڈ فارم ملا ہے اور آپ نے دیکھا ہوگا کہ جو بہت مشکل الفاظ آپ کو پرانی کتابوں میں ملتے ہیں وہ آہستہ آہستہ اپسلیٹ ہوتے چلے گئے متروک ہوتے چلے گئے اور صرف وہی الفاظ رہ گئے جو اسٹینڈرڈ تھے جن کے میننگ اسٹینڈرڈ تھے اور جو عام بول چال میں عام فہم ہو سکتے تھے دوسرا جو اثر سوسائٹی پہ اسٹوڈنٹس پرنٹ میڈیا کا آیا اور جو امیجیٹلی جس کو محسوس کیا گیا وہ تھا سائنس کے حوالے سے سائنس کے اوپر کام تو انسان شروع سے کر رہا ہے ارستو کے زمانے سے سائنس کے آئیڈیاز آپ کو ملتے ہیں فلاسفیز ملتی ہیں انسان شروع سے سوچتا آ رہا ہے کہ یہ سورج چاند ستارے کس طرح اپنی گردش کو قائم رکھتے ہیں زمین کے اندر کون سی مادنی آتے ہیں زراعت کیا چیز ہے کس طرح چیزیں اگائی جاتی ہیں یعنی بایو ٹیکنالوجیز کیا ہیں انسان ہمیشہ سوچتا آ رہا ہے لیکن اس کی شیئرنگ نہیں ہو پاتی تھی ایک انسان نے کسی جگہ پہ کوئی تحقیق کی اپنے طور پہ بس اس کا ہلکا وہ ایک گاؤں تک محدود رہا بہت تھوڑے لوگوں تک محدود رہا اور بات جو ہے وہ بہت زیادہ لوگوں تک جا نہ سکی جب جا نہ سکی تو اس کے اوپر جو تحقیق کا دائرہ ہے وہ وسیع نہ ہو سکا اور اس طرح یہ بہت ممکن ہے ہم رینیسنس کے چیپٹر میں اس چیز کو اور غور سے دیکھیں گے کہ یہ بہت ممکن ہے کہ بہت ساری ٹیکنالوجیز میں انسان نے بعض انسانوں نے جن میں خدا داد صلاحیتیں ہوتی ہیں جیسے بعض سائنٹسٹ غیر معمولی صلاحیتوں کے کام کرتے ہیں اس طرح پہلے بھی ہوتا ہو جب کمیونیکیشن کی یہ فارم نہیں تھی جس کو میس کمیونیکیشن کہتے ہیں لیکن پھر ان تحقیقات سے کیا ہوا انسانیت کو ان سے اتنا فائدہ نہیں ہو سکا اور بس جتنی بھی ان کے اختراع تھی جتنی بھی ان کی تحقیقات تھیں وہ ہونے سکیں پرنٹ میڈیا کے آنے سے کیا ہوا یہ ایک کتاب جب چھپی چونکہ اس سے کتاب چھپنے کا عمل سستا بھی ہو گیا زیادہ بھی ہو گیا تیز بھی ہو گیا جب یہ مرحلے طے ہوئے تو کتاب جو تھی وہ زیادہ لوگوں کے پاس پہنچنا شروع ہوئی ہم نے یہ دیکھا کہ کتابوں کی اویلیبلٹی سے جو جیسا ہم بار بار ذکر کر چکے ہیں دو تین دفعہ اس کا یہ نہیں ہم ذکر کر چکے ہیں کہ جو آئیڈیاز تھے ادر دین ریلیجن ان کا اظہار زیادہ ہونا شروع ہو گیا جس کو سیکولر کہا جاتا ہے کہ ادر دین ریلیجس آئیڈیاز سیکولر آئیڈیاز کا اظہار زیادہ ہونا شروع ہو گیا لوگوں نے سائنس کی باتیں زیادہ کرنی شروع کر دیں اور اس میں بہت دلچسپی کا آنسر اس کا فائدہ کیا ہوا آپ یہ دیکھیے کہ پرنٹنگ ٹیکنالوجی کے آنے کے بعد اور میس میڈیا کے اس طرح سے جنم لینے کے بعد ود ان ٹو ہنڈریڈ ایئرس دا ورلڈ انفیکٹ ہیڈ دا ایکسپیرینس آف انڈسٹریل ریولوشن وچ واز بیسڈ پیورلی آن دا سائنٹیفک ورک ٹرن 
by the great people during these uh, 200 and 300 years because they were now able to share their ideas on various uh, science philosophies, various science theories which were then converted into law when very many people agreed to it and they experimented and they found well the theory is pragmatic and the, it was converted into law and the basis of on the basis of those laws an industrial revolution took place so much of mechanics and the electricity and the electronics all that is the result of sharing of knowledge it is not a case that only one person had created or very few people have created this industrial revolution this is a case of the pouring of knowledge and the understanding among very many people who worked in this area of science and technologies over the centuries that resulted into the creation of so many things now used as a comforts for the people convenience for the people and to make the life uh, more safe secure and more enjoyable i would say it is a result of that but as we are talking about uh, we have moved more in the scientific area. In fact, we are talking about uh, the mass communication and the print media's role in promoting this science and technology. And then another area, that was the economic growth. Before this mass media, people would hardly know about uh, the economic potential of different parts of the world and uh, the economic activities taking place in different parts of the world. There were different pockets where people were doing quite good in the area of economics and uh, the economies of certain areas were growing, but it was limited to those areas. There were hardly any sense what we now understand as internationalization, that is moving across the cultures or across the states or across the countries and benefiting from some economic activity taking place across the country. That was a very rare case. You, had, you did have some commerce routes, but they were very few and far between. With the arrival of this mass media, now people were able to learn what economic activity is taking place in what part of the world that created a boost to these commerce activities now through a newspaper published say some in another country you are learning that what was the crop position how the crops were doing in that part of the world what the manufacturing sector was doing, although at a very initial scale of these uh, industrial revolution or uh, the start of the mechanical age or pre-mechanical age. Now people were able to learn what machine had been invented in what part of the world. And if you go through the stories of, again, we will come to the area of uh, science and technology, if you just go through the stories, you would find that scientists were now able to communicate to each other through newspapers. They were reading in newspapers, they were sending their ideas to newspapers, and this is how uh, communication was taking place. It had a direct bearing on the economic growth of different societies. That was one reason that uh, the process of industrialization was more where scientists were working more and sharing their ideas through this mass media and obviously now we can guess more it was done in the European continent and later on in the American continent more benefit they people had in this part of uh, uh, the civilization we will say in this in this evolution process for the last 400 500 years the people are having more benefit now it is spilling over and in fact People all, because the communication, the means of communication, the other part of communication, the engineering communication is also faster these days. And that's why the economic gains are now spilling over to the whole world. But fact remains that since mass media had its region in particular part of the world, 
देयर पीपल एक्सचेंज व्यूज और उसका फायदा ये हुआ कि उन्होंने आपस में इतना उनको बेनिफिट हुआ उससे उनकी एक इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेस शुरू हुआ और वहां पे इकोनॉमिक जैसे हमने कहा कि उसकी डायरेक्ट बियरिंग उसके डायरेक्ट असरा जो थे वो आए उनकी इकोनॉमीज के ऊपर और जब उनकी इकोनॉमी ने ग्रो करना शुरू किया तो फिर उसके बाद मनी वॉज क्रिएटेड मोर मनी वॉज क्रिएटेड एंड दैट मनी इन फैक्ट वर्क टू क्रिएट मोर रिसर्च फैसिलिटीज और उसके बाद फिर एक ऐसा साइकिल आ गया उसमें आ गया लेकिन इसमें बहुत बड़ा रोल आपके इस मैस कम्युनिकेशन का है जिसने लोगों को फैसिलिटेट किया कि दे कैन नाउ कम्युनिकेट टू ईच अदर ऑन वॉट एवर द थिंग्स दे वो फीलिंग इन द एरिया ऑफ बायो इन द एरिया ऑफ एस्ट्रोनॉमी इन द एरिया ऑफ फिजिक्स इन द एरिया ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स वी विल टॉक मोर मैन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एरिया द एरिया ऑफ रिनेसेंस is a, is, a, is something we have to talk about when we talk about mass communication what happened that is a separate area we will have a chapter over there and apart from economic growth and industrial process and having a standard language with the arrival of mass media one area always people are very much interested in and that is the area of politics people are always to talk about uh, their right the governance of the people who are ruling nobility and all those things what people are getting the benefit from this area of uh, i would say politics when came this mass communication in the very beginning the mass media had this politics to be talked about more than anything else true that in the very initial period it was uh, the uh, the scientific ideas which were exchanged because those ideas were available and were being talked about uh, by the individuals but very soon media jumped into this area because very many people everybody was not a scientist everybody was not a mathematician more people were interested in the area of governance so it was quite obvious that uh, a talk about politics take place through the media now people were talking about uh, the rulers they were raising questions why there were monarchies why there were dictatorships why the people were not getting their rights why the people who were working so hard and they were not getting any benefit what was wrong where so it was all the politics which was openly discussed in the media and still today students you would find that our newspapers are uh, if not full more than half of newspaper is covered by the news and information analysis editorials pertaining to political activity because politics has enormous impression enormous bearing on the societies it is because of the politics that you have a particular type of governance particular type of government your political parties are all shaped up in this process of politics and every person is directly hit by the politics of that particular society country culture so it's not possible that when mass media is available you are not talking about politics you have to talk about your rights so was the case in the start and very it is so amazing that in when 1916 90 public occurrences and that is the name of the paper you you must be familiar by now because it's mentioned uh, i think twice or thrice in your handouts in previous lectures you would find that when this paper was brought out it survived for one day for reasons on the very first day it wrote something against the rulers in america and the paper was banned it survived only for one day isn't it something amazing that right from the beginning the newspapers the media had links with politics it did start after some time but immediately it was seized 
And then more newspapers came out. They talked more about the politics. And uh, it was during this journey of press media that in the middle of, in the middle of almost 19th century, media was declared as the fourth pillar of the state because the participation of media was so enormous in countries political life. Now the politicians, the parliamentarians, the political parties, the councillors, the mayor, all the people who in fact one way or the other way become part of the governance, they were using media to highlight, they have, just as scientists were highlighting their ideas, their theories, their beliefs through media, so were the politicians, the people who were interested in governance, they were using the media. And media, in fact, became the greatest platform for the people who should talk about formation of governments, about parliaments, and so much debate started taking place outside parliaments. Before media, the parliaments were also very few, and uh, the talk about uh, the governance, the government was also limited. But with the arrival of media, what was seen, that people were openly talking on those issues which in fact were earlier confined to parliaments. So I would not say a parallel parliament, but a sort of. They were created in the media. You can experience that some uh, debate still goes on on the electronic media just as it was. it is taking place in the parliament. The ministers are there, the other peoples are there, the critics are there, the anchor persons are there, the interviewers are there. They're all talking about all those issues, which were once before this mass media were talked in the parliaments or in the courts of the kings. If at all there was a permission by the governments to talk on these issues. So media in fact gave a platform to all those people. In, in fact, it gave a voice to all those people who wanted to talk on politics. Since politics is a very interesting subject, most people like to talk on politics, even if they do not have in-depth studies or in-depth ideas. They, they prefer to talk in their gossip or uh, in general. You would find all around people are talking more of politics. Everybody will have some political opinion. It doesn't matter the person has worked out on those opinions or not, because it interests the common people. Since this is in the blood, since this is human instinct, so media was not to ignore this area. In fact, media had more of this area, and still, media continues talking about politics more than anything else. It's a legacy with the print media and electronic media as well. Another area where we find the print media having a impression, stark impression, is the education. We cannot ignore this part, this service of mass media for any society in educating people. Educating in what? Well, if you just look at the newspapers, even the old newspapers, you would find very authentic ideas on health by the people who are expert, like doctors, like researchers that have been mentioned and uh, telling the people what they should be doing and what not to avoid, to prevent some epidemics or if there is some disease, how to combat it. It was a great contribution of media to educate people when health facilities were not all around the way they are today. Some time ago or say a century ago or some more than a century ago, there were few health facilities available all around the world. It was media where the experts, media in fact had always allowed the experts to take these pages and write down whatever they want. So the advice would come from the experts and people would read and how many people would have benefited in the area of health alone. And then the education was not confined to the area of medicine. 
in fact in educating people the creating this awareness among the people in promoting literacy mass me mass media this print media print media and mass media were synonym before the arrival of radio as we now understand print media had great impression in promoting literacy because paper was going in the hand of every all the common people and they can go through the text there and they can learn things which would be telling them about the mannerism about civilization about uh, their dressing up about uh, how to behave how to move around how to take part in meetings how to be good communicator in so many aspects of daily life every person is involved in media was telling you would find so much written and so much talked about than later by the people it was all because media allow experts from every walk of life to come forward and if they want to write something they can write then on environment media had campaigns special editions were devoted these campaigns how to keep the environment healthy and uh, from education from health from environment media has other areas like uh, promotion of uh, religious feelings promotion of uh, tolerance because everybody was allowed to participate in the debate even on religious uh, matters you see uh, before mass media before this print media the talk was confined to clerks to church and some church people and people were only supposed to be hearing and abiding by those instructions coming from the church we talk about church because this mass media has its origin from that part of the world but later on media provided this platform and people started talking on some religious issues and quite a few people in fact saw jail because of uh, their ideas which nullify some of the very hard and arduous ideas of uh, the clerics so an open debate on religious issues also created a sort of tolerance which otherwise was uh, hardly seen in society because people were sticking so hard to their religious uh, beliefs which were uh, which were not true perhaps as we find it today as we find it after a lot of debate a debate of centuries that the religions are meant to promote peace and harmony and friendship among people and not to create differences and uh, to have their own strongholds here and there and uh, create differences among people they are not meant for it it was only possible when there was almost an open debate among commoners among the believers on religious issues also it was done through mass media had there been no mass media it would have been so difficult for uh, for the people to have this closeness with each other and the level of tolerance might not have been achieved then media had another experience another impression i would say on the people during war times most nations had uh, from uh, 19th century and earlier they had wars you would find the history of in the history of wars that almost all the societies were at one stage had one war or the two with the neighboring country with the other people the invaders were coming into media created an impression during the war times it in fact educated people how to behave during the war times it is generally said that the first world war was shortened because of uh, the role of media which uh, elaborately told people that war the first world war particularly was not going to benefit anyone and so much was written by the people and it created an impression 
among the people that this war was not a fair war. And with the help of all those, what is said, what was said by the people, by the politicians, by the rulers elsewhere, the First World War came to an end, partly because of the role media played into it. And then another area, which, uh, which in fact is uh, taking place because of other reasons, but I tell, I tell you the role of media cannot be ignored in this area. And you are hearing this word so frequently these days, and this is globalization. In making people understand each other better and taking advantage of this uh, communications, the means of communication. And when we say means of communication, we talk about the engineering side of the communication, non-human communication. We are talking about human communication, but also a development taking place in other areas of communication. And advancement taking place in human communication as well because of this mass media and I would say because of this print media. Now there is a more realization among people that they should live together, they should understand each other better, they should benefit from the cultural gains of each other. And as we talk about culture, culture is a, is a collective area where all this education, this economics, this laws, this scientific advancement, this governance, this politics, as we have been talking one by one, all it creates a culture, culture of understanding, culture of tolerance and understanding of different cultures. Now people are moving across uh, countries and continents and media is helping in making people understand the cultural values of each other and how to tolerate each other and how to regard those values. If a person has come for acculturation or if there is a case of enculturation in a different ways, we have been talking so much in the chapter of culture, culture and mass media. All these things are in fact because of mass media and better understanding of culture. Globalization as part of uh, media campaigns is now taking shape so rapidly. It will be another benefit of uh, mass media and impression on societies. So here, students, we in fact talked about so many areas where the print media, or we call it mass media, as having direct bearing on societies. We have seen so many areas where societies are directly benefited. They are gaining from mass media in the area of politics, in the area of education, in the area of economic growth, in the area of cultural understanding, and one uh, which is very dear to me in understanding standard languages. Once you have a standard language, it makes your communication more fluent, more understandable. और इसके साथ ही स्टूडेंट अब हम आते हैं अपने आज की गुफ्तगू के आखिरी हिस्से में जहां पे हम बात करते हैं किसी एक टर्म के ऊपर जो हमारे मैस मीडिया में जिसका जिक्र होता है लास्ट टाइम वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट सर्कुलेशन वेरी कॉमन वर्ड यूज्ड इन मैस मीडिया पर्टिकुलरली इन द प्रिंट मीडिया सर्कुलेशन मींस द नंबर ऑफ कॉपीज ऑफ अ न्यूज़पेपर ऑफ अ मैगजीन ऑफ अ बुक व्हिच आर सोल्ड obviously printed and sold. That is called the circulation of that particular newspaper or magazine. It has its effects because more circulation would fetch you more business. And uh, more circulation also means uh, more advertisements. It's not uh, the, the number of copies sold that would bring you some fortune. It is also because your advertisers would be attracted and you will have more business in the area of advertisements. But here today, we are going to have next in this alphabetic order is computer language. Now computer language is talked about so much in as we talk about uh, media or mass media. Now computer language, what it is in general terms, a computer language is an intermediate language which helps that an ordinary language finds its way on computer. Whatever you are doing in the sense of images and text in your ordinary way, 
in your ordinary languages that is finding way to the computer and you are seeing all those things on the monitor what is enabling uh, what is working as an intermediate intermediary that is called a computer language there are so many which help all those things from an ordinary images in text into the digital way of expressing those texts and images next time with a new topic and a new term we will be talking more till then it's khuda hafiz